Salvete omnes. If you'd like to support the channel along with these patrons, there's a link in the description box below. In the last lesson, Perseus lived contentedly with his mother on Polydectes' island. But Polydectes fell in love with his mother and decided to get Perseus out of his way by sending him off on a quest to prove his worth. We pick up the story now as Perseus sets out in search of Medusa. Perseus ubi haec audivit ex insula iscesit, et postquam ad continentem venit, medusam quae sivit. Diu frustra quae rebat, namque naturam loci ignorabat. Tandem Apollo et Minerva viam demonstraverunt. Primum ad graias sorores medusae pervenit. Ab his Alaria et Galeam magicam acepit. Apollo autem et Minerva falcem et speculum ei dederunt. Cum postquam Talaria peribus induit, in aera ascendit. Diu per aera volabat, tandem tamen ad eum locum venit, ubi medusa cum ceteris gorgonibus habitabat. Gorgones monstra erant, specie horribili, serpentes enim pro capillum habuerunt. Okay, let's break this down now. Perseus ubi haec audivit ex insula iscesit, et postquam ad continentem venit, medusam quae sivit. We have seen the word ubi used to mean where, as in ubies, where are you? But it can also mean when or whenever, so ubi audivit means when he heard. Discesit is the past tense of discedo. One meaning of cedo is to set out, which if you pronounce the C like an S, it kind of sounds like cedo. And discedo just emphasizes the meaning of away, so this means depart. And the last word, quaesivit, is the past tense of quairo. And when you query something, you search for it. Altogether then, when Perseus heard these things, he departed from the island, and after he came to the mainland, he searched for Medusa. Diu frustra quae rebat, namque naturam loci ignorabat. Diurnal animals are those that are awake during the day, or all day long. The word diu refers to a long period of time. And if you search frustratedly, which isn't a word, you are doing it in vain or futilely. Then we have namque. The frustrating thing about these conjunctions is that so many mean the same thing. Nam, namque, and enim, which we saw before, all mean for or since. And they were derived from the same source, which is why they sound similar. So we have, since he was ignorant of the nature of the place. Tandem Apollo et Minerva viam demonstraverunt. We have to be a little careful with tandem because it's so similar to tamen. If you remember, tamen means however, but tandem means finally or eventually. So eventually Apollo and Athena showed the way. Primum ad graias sorores medusae pervenit. First he comes to the grey witches, the sisters of Medusa. The per on venit just indicates that he came all the way there. It means through. The grey ones, or the grey witches, were three sisters who shared one eye and one tooth. And as they were passing the eye between themselves, Perseus stole it and held on to it until they told him what he wanted and gave him the following rewards. Ab his Alaria et Galeam magicam acepit. This means, from these he received something magical. Talus means ankle. Maybe you can remember this by thinking eagles have talons coming from their ankles. So Talaria means of the ankle. And this refers to the sandals of Mercury, which had wings on the ankle, as you can see here. Mercury was known as Hermes in Greek mythology and was the messenger of the gods. And the Galea was this type of helmet, which you have probably seen Roman soldiers wearing in movies. 
Apollo autem et Minerva falcum et speculum ei dederunt. I'm sure you remember that autem means however. However, this word is frustrating because it can also mean and and also, which are pretty much opposite in meaning. So it's kind of like an all-purpose conjunction. A speculum is something that you can spectate yourself in. Idest, a mirror. Kulus is a diminutive suffix that is used in many words. For example, English has the word homunculus, or little man. And masculus is another example, meaning masculine. A falx is a sickle or a scythe. Maybe you can think of a falx as a false sword. So these are the two weapons that Apollo and Athena gave him. Cum postquam talaria peribus induit, in aera ascendit. Induit looks like induce, which we can interpret as lead in, and when we lead our arms and legs and head into clothing, we put it on. Induo means to put on. So we have, then after he puts on the winged sandals, he ascends in the air. Diu per aera volabat. Tandem tamen ad eum locum venit, ubi medusa cum ceteris gorgonibus habitabat. Per means through, as I said before. When you perspire a lot, you sweat through your t-shirt. Permeate and pervade are also good words to remember this meaning. And here we have tandem and tamen next to each other, so we can practice them. What do they mean? Finally, however, and Medusa is the name of one of the Gorgons, which were creatures with snakes for hair that could turn people to stone with their gaze. The sentence is kind of long, but altogether this means, For a long time he flew through the air. At length, however, he came to that place where Medusa dwelt with the other Gorgons. Gorgones monstra erant specie horribili. The suffix ies is added to some verbs to convert them into an abstract noun. Specie comes from the word specio, so this has something to do with seeing. And you can probably see now that it's being used to talk about the appearance or aspect of the gorgons. This is known as the ablative of quality. And in English we would translate specie horribili as of horrible appearance. The two words don't match because species is a fifth declension noun, like dies, while horribilis is third. So this first part means the gorgons were monsters of horrible appearance. Then we have serpentes enim pro capillum habuerunt. Pro capillum means instead of hair or for hair. Remember, caput is head, so Capili is what's growing out of your caput. So the final part is, for they had snakes instead of hair. Okay, here's the story again. Perseus ubi haec audivit ex insula iscesit, et postquam ad continentem venit, medusam quae siwit. Diu frustra quae rebat, namque naturam loci ignorabat. Tandem Apollo et Minerva viam demonstraverunt. Primum ad graias sorores medusae pervenit. Ab his talaria et galeam magicam acepit. Apollo autem et Minerva falcem et speculum ei dederunt. Cum postquam talaria peribus induit, in aera ascendit. Diu per aera volabat. Tandem tamen ad eum locum venit, ubi medusa cum ceteris gorgonibus habitabat. Gorgones monstra erant specie horribili, serpentes enim pro capillum habuerunt. Okay, we'll hear about the showdown with Medusa in the next lesson. See you then. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and if you can, help support the channel on Patreon, where there are audio downloads and transcripts of each dialogue and story. Gratias!